You've been around a couple of years. You one more experience, guys. Uh, uh, every year the leadership change hands. You know, you gotta go out there and get it. You know, some people like to lead by example, and some people like to talk. Uh, just gotta go get it. So I ain't the leader yet, but uh, do everything right. I will be. What do you see on Mason Graham? Hmm? What do you see on Mason Graham? Good dude, got tough kid. You know, kid though. You know, you don't come in the man. You know, I came in here at 17. A lot of learning to do. You know, a lot of, uh, a lot of ways to live, a lot of yards to run, a lot of plays to play. So, you know, he got a lot ahead of him. What are your impressions of uh, Jesse Bender and also uh, Coach Elson? Oh, yeah, good guys. You know what they're talking about. You know, want to put us in the best position and uh, ready to. You know, start this climb this season because it started. It been started. It started as soon as we got done playing George. Is it any different? I mean, with with them. I mean, uh, obviously you guys had a good thing going with uh, the crew you had last year, but uh, what's it like with the, with these guys? Yeah, uh, it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but every year is different. Whether you have the same guys or different guys, so you know, just getting to know their personalities and getting to know them and getting close with them, building that bond and relationship. You know. I know it's still early, but what's Minter like? Uh, he's a good dude, man. Just uh, he just getting uh, getting uh, everything installed how he want. Kind of going through the same thing uh, Coach McDonald went through. You know, getting everything squared away, getting the terminology right, getting the, the play squared away, and uh, we'll be all right though. Obviously, the uh, defensive tackles were kind of used to kind of hold up for the you know the edge rushers, the linebackers mm -hmm. last year, but. Seems like obviously some of the experience has shifted a little bit towards people like you. I mean, do you think you'll have more of a pass rush role this year on the, on the defensive tackle position? Uh, hopefully, you know, try to earn it. Though, like I said about the leadership thing, like you got to go out there and show that you can pass rush, go out there and show that you can play all three downs and more. You know, it ain't easy. It's easier said than done. So uh, if I do everything right, y'all can get out there on pass and dunk. Have you seen any noticeable improvement from any of the other defensive tackles through the spring? Um, you know, Coach Elson said uh, in the first, I think the third practice that we had, uh, nobody's a finished product. So um, we got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do, me included. Yeah. You said last year you like to write down your goals and put them in different places so that you always see them. Do you have new goals going yeah, into the season? Sometimes my goals are, aren't related to football at all. Sometimes it's just related to how I'm trying to carry myself as a person. You know, I think football say how somebody approaches football says a lot about who they are. So um, as long as I'm working on who I am, you know, the football gonna take care of itself. What are things that you want to work on on yourself? Um, I want we'll to keep that a little more personal. Thank you. Chris and I talked about Rayshon Benny being the player that kind of caught his eye last year. I mean, what do you think of him? What do you think of the potential, especially this year? You know, got a lot of potential, but like. Uh, like Mason Graham, you know, he's still a young guy. Like I was in his position, you know. This is his year to go out there and become the player he's supposed to be. You know, he ain't there yet. You talked to Chris Hinn much about his decision for the NFL, or were you surprised by that at all? No, I wasn't surprised. You know, I knew he was going. You know, and mm -hmm. uh, happy for him. You know, real happy for him. Uh, that, that's what we all trying to get. So, uh, you know, more power to him. Did you know Mike Elston from before from recruiting? Yeah. Yep. Uh, he recruited me pretty hard another day. You know, but I chose Coach Maddox. But he didn't do get you at Notre Dame. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ended up uh, going with Coach Maddox when he was here. So did, did, you, did you maintain any communication with Mike? Or I mean, so um, did you pick up where you kind of left picked off? Picked up where we left off. Picked up right where we left off. You know, he's a good guy. You know, want the best for me. Obviously, he's going to have a big role in recruiting for, for Michigan now, too. What, what do you remember about him as a, as a recruiter? Um, you know, just straight shooter, you know, right to the point. Let you know, you know, we want to make you the best player you can. I want you to have as, as much success as he can get you to, you know. So, this is, recruiting is kind of cut and dry, you know. They, you got to say the right things to the kids. And, to get them to come, you know, it's your job. You gotta get, you gotta, you gotta get good players, you know, so, it's your job. Uh -huh. you got it. What did Greg say to get you to come here? Uh, not much. <laughs> he just, his resume uh, spoke for himself. You know, he didn't have to say 